We've elected a strong and diverse caucus from across the entire province. This dynamic team truly reflects the people of Ontario and the amazing diversity of this province. It's some of that diversity Horvath talks about that got the NDP a first. The winner of the Parkdale High Park riding is the first Tibetan ever elected to public office in North America. I remember we had, I had crossed continents and oceans and finally landed in Parkdale, right? Uh, I, of course, didn't know anything about Parkdale High Park or Canada much. Uh, and just the community, oh, I felt like I belonged right away. Obviously, a lot of the headlines are saying the first Tibetan, uh, you know, to be elected in North America. How does that feel? First Tibetan Canadian. <laughs> it feels great. Uh, of course, it's not lost on me that this is a historic moment uh, as a Tibetan Canadian. Uh, but really, truly, I think the biggest honor for me right now that I'm feeling is, is that the people of Parkdale High Park overwhelmingly put their trust in somebody like me. Nine kilometers south of the Parkdale High Park riding, another diverse NDP candidate has won a seat. Faisal Hassan, a Somali refugee, is now the new MPP for York Southwestern. It's a long journey. I mean, I have uh, my uh, story. In, it is um, a good story. It's a beautiful story because I came here. It is an experience that I'm proud of, and it has been tough, you know, but it's an experience that, I mean, I, I treasure, and I think I'm working harder to know that those, you know, life is tough. And, and people are struggling, especially in this riding and many ridings across this province. And you look at these people, you know, it's a very diverse community. So how does it feel to be able to represent them? It feels um, proud. It feels that the, that they are now have their concerns and their issues. Is now they have somebody who lives here for over 20 years, can address those issues, and now we can fight issues that matter to them. Both candidates tell me the next few days are about thanking their supporters and volunteers and hope their story will inspire other new Canadians. At High Park, I'm Brandon Rowe, City News.